Hello and welcome to our Diktuk Skills video, our Hebrew Grammar Skills video. Today we're going to learn about the Shem To'ar, the adjective. What is an adjective? What is a Shem To'ar? A Shem To'ar is a description that describes a Shem Etzem, which we have learned previously is a noun, a person, place, or thing. So, a shame to'ar would be, for example, in English, the big book. So, the book would be the noun, the shame etzem. And big is a description, so big would be the shame to'ar. Tall boy. That would be a shame to'ar, the word tall. Pretty picture. Again, pretty would be the shame to'ar, the adjective, and picture would be the shame etzem. Now, how does this work in Hebrew? How is a Shem To'ar in Hebrew different than the adjective in English? There is a major difference between the way an adjective is done in English and the way it's done in Lashon HaKodesh in Hebrew. In Lashon Kodesh, the Shem To'ar is usually after the Shem Etzem, after the noun. In English, it works just the opposite. In English, you first say, big boy. In Hebrew, you would say, yeled gadol. So this difference actually makes it difficult to translate from Hebrew into English. But of course, if you know the secret that I'm telling you, then you can really figure out the translation quicker. Once you know that the adjective is going to come after the noun, so it's going to be yelled gadol, so you'll say, oh, in English I would switch that and I would say big boy. Okay? That's an important skill to know in itself. Another detail about shame toar, about adjectives, is that the adjectives in Hebrew become transformed by the format of the shame etzem. That means, in English, we just keep the same word, big, small, tall, short, for whatever type of noun you're talking about. But in Hebrew, the shame toar is going to transform itself to match the Hebrew noun. For example, we know that we have zachar, and the keva. So there's yelet for a boy. For zachar, we would say yelet gadol. But if it's nekeva for female, we would transform gadol to gidola to match yalda. So it would be yalda gidola. We would add a hey to match the, the shame etzem, the noun that comes before it. And the same thing for rabim, plural. We know that the suffix yud mem is used for male plural. So instead of yeled, it becomes yeladim, boys. And if we want to say a big, big boys, we would just, we would say yeladim gedolim. So in English, you just say big. It doesn't matter, singular or plural. But in Hebrew, we're going to take big and we're going to add the same suffix as the noun. So it will become yeladim and gadol would become gedolim. The same thing in female. Ot, vav, taf, by the end, is a suffix for more than one female, plural female. If you want to give a shem toar, an adjective, you would then turn it from gadol to gedolot. Yeladot, gedolot. Okay, so let's get a little practice. Circle the nouns and underline the adjective. Yalda Kitana. The first one, Yalda, that is our noun. Kitana is the adjective, the shame toar. Notice that Yalda has ends with a hey because it's Nekeva female and Kitana, the word katan means small, but since it's a female I added a hey to match the noun. Ish Chacham. Ish is our noun, man, chacham, wise. Bayit, gadol. 
Bayad is our noun, is our shame etzem. Gadol is our shame toar. Thank you for watching.